Let's get right to the rescue of Hannah Anderson, now reunited with her father after a massive manhunt that stretched from Southern California all the way to Idaho, where the girl's kidnapper was shot. ABC's Ryan Owens is in Boise with the latest. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning to you, George. Hannah is with her father this morning, and we're told she's in good shape, at least physically. Yesterday here in Idaho, she actually met with a few visitors, namely those horseback riders whose tip blew this case wide open. It wasn't just those heroes in uniform who saved Hannah Anderson. Our Hannah is coming home. It was also these sharp-eyed civilians on horseback. Just had a gut feeling about him. These four came across the 16-year-old and her 40-year-old accused kidnapper, James DiMaggio, last week in the rugged backwoods of Idaho. They say Hannah was wearing pajamas, appeared scared, kept looking away, and muttered, I think we're all in trouble now. When they saw the teen's picture on TV, they called police. And hundreds of federal agents descended on these woods, first spotting DiMaggio's car Friday morning. Police just released these pictures of how he tried to cover it up with limbs and brush. Saturday from the air, they discovered a campsite to surprise DiMaggio. Members of the FBI hostage rescue team jumped from a helicopter and hiked two and a half treacherous hours. The FBI will not detail what happened next, except to say DiMaggio was given every chance to surrender before they shot him at 522 Saturday evening. California police say he didn't just kidnap Hannah. The one-time close family friend murdered her mother and eight-year-old brother. Their bodies found in his burning house in San Diego County. And this may be the strangest case of like father, like son you've ever heard of. In 1989, the San Diego Union Tribune reported James DiMaggio Sr. was arrested for breaking into a home and holding a 16-year-old at gunpoint. Police say the girl, the same age as Hannah, escaped through a bathroom window. There's more. Family friends say DiMaggio's dad committed suicide on August the 10th all those years ago the very same day his son was killed by the FBI. There's definitely something that snapped, and the only thing that makes sense is this correlation between the dates uh, with the date of the, his father's suicide. Hannah's grandparents, her family, her friends, they're all eager for her homecoming in San Diego. They will, of course, be celebrating the fact that she's home, but also remember mourning the loss of her mother and her little brother.